Thank you. President Ronald Vaughan, the outgoing and incoming chair, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and students, members of the graduating class of 2009, parents, family, and friends, my compatriots from Liberia, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you most kindly, President Vaughn, for inviting me to deliver this commencement address to the 2009 graduates of the University of Tampa. It is a distinct honor for me to be at UT, this institution of academic excellence, which under your leadership has experienced growth and expansion unseen in its history and which has attracted students from all over these United States and some 100 other countries. Permit me to acknowledge Mr. David Strauss, a UT trustee and honorary council of Liberia, who was very instrumental in making my presence here possible. The university's website pointed out in its story about me, that I had received seven honorary doctorate degrees from universities around the world. What the story didn't mention is that no matter how many awards and honors a person receives in his or her lifetime, each one is unique. Each one has a special meaning, and each one holds a singular place in one's heart. I am therefore elated that this esteemed University of Tampa has bestowed upon me an honorary doctorate in humane letters. I shall cherish always this institution's recognition of what I have accomplished in my lifetime to make our world, especially my little corner of that world, a better place. I thank you most sincerely. Today, at this University of Tampa, across the state of Florida, and throughout these 50 United States, it is graduation season. You, the graduates, have earned your Bachelor of Master's degree, will now fan out across this vast country and abroad, ready and eager to join the workforce, to embark upon successful careers, and to make your respective mark in the world. You have studied hard. You have played by the rules, expecting that at the end of the day, society will offer the kind of job you studied and prepared for for so long. But it will not be easy, because these are not normal times, not here in Florida, or elsewhere in America, not in the world. Pick up any newspaper, turn on any television or radio, or surf the internet, and the news is grim. Headlines report, in addition to a possible H1N1 flu pandemic, we hear of recession, contracting demand, government bailouts, 
bankruptcies of banking and manufacturing giants, massive job layoffs, rising unemployment, plummeting home values and foreclosures. The list goes on. And this is happening in America, the richest country in the world, which leads the world in all important indicators. The American economy, now in hiccups, has sent shivers throughout the world. In this gloomy economic climate, I have pondered what words of hope and inspiration could I impart to this graduating class of 2009? How can I give you words of assurance that would help to guide you through this rough patch as we await a global upswing and better days? After all, I should be an expert in positive thinking. I am president of a country which having experienced economic freefall for a decade, engaged in total self-destruction over the course of the following 14 years of a war. Today, against all odds, we are emerging from this dark path with clearly visible signs of economic reconstruction and national renewal. In similar manner, I was an avowed optimist to have believed in 2005 that as a woman I could run for president of Liberia and win. But against all odds, I did. becoming Liberia's and Africa's first democratic elected woman president.